Yeah, so shortly um, after 3pm uh, this afternoon, uh, police uh, and emergency services arrived here in Hadlow Road at Gundaroo um, in response to an aircraft um, uh, collision um, crash on the property behind me here. Um, when police arrived uh, with RFS services, there was a small grass fire um, and uh, obviously a catastrophic um, collision of a small uh, light aircraft. Um, the RFS extinguished the, the plane. Um, unfortunately, there are no survivors. Uh, police are working with the ATSB, the Air Transport Safety Bureau, uh, into an investigation into this crash. Um, we're still working on uh, establishing who was in the, the plane and how many. Um, we do not know those details at this stage. Uh, it is very early in our investigation, only being uh, a couple of hours after uh, the impact. Um, and police will be working here through the night uh, with a crime scene. Uh, Air Traffic Safety Bureau investigators are on the way to the scene. They will be here tonight. Uh, and we will carry out those investigations uh, determine uh, over the period of time the cause of the, the crash. Are there any early indications of what might have happened? There's nothing at this stage, it's too early. Um, there's uh, minimal witnesses obviously being in a remote regional area. Um, there, there's not a lot of other uh, avenues for determining what happened. Uh, we'll leave that to the ATSB in their investigations with the, the aircraft and the debris that's left to work that out. Um, at this stage we'll just be processing uh, our crime scene investigation tonight uh, and hopefully um, yeah, establish over a period of time what, what the cause was. The superintendent, we can see from the wreckage and you've obviously been down there yourself, this looks to be a, a, a catastrophic incident. How would you sort of, I guess, describe what has unfolded? I mean, the plane was obviously flying at significant altitude when something has happened and it's, it's, it's ended in quite a catastrophic way, would you say? Yes, um, as I said before, we really don't have many details about um, the flight path of the plane. Um, however, the collision is heavy, uh, heavy impact, which has caused um, a fire um, and, as I said, no survivors uh, of that aircraft. Is it um, the sort of aircraft, does it look like there were a few people in there? In it it is. Um, we're not able to establish that. Sure. It is a significant crime scene. Yeah. Is there any sort of um, manifest or anything like that you police can rely on to, to, to know how many people perhaps should have been on the plane? Or is, is yeah, those inquiries will take place over the next few hours um, and we will work uh, with our air authorities to, to, to determine that um, and then um, work out who was uh, the pilot and uh, if there were any passengers on the plane. What, what, what sort of work specifically will be carried out over the next few hours? I mean, you mentioned that you'll, you'll have forensics here overnight, but talk us through you know, how they're going to be working and what they're going to be doing over the next few hours and what they have to yeah, do. Yeah, um, at, at the moment the crime scene there will just be uh, looking around that immediate, immediate impact site, uh, but then they'll all obviously be canvassing of the area to determine if there's any other debris, um, and that will just carry on through the next few hours. It is a, a timely process. Um, so that, uh, it's imagined that it'll, it will take a few hours. Is there a point where you say that there's not enough light to go on and you stop and then... Oh, no, that, th this will continue through the night. Yeah. Um, I actually got one question. Um, who called emergency services? Um, uh, I don't know um, exactly, but I believe it was a local resident um, who uh, obviously saw the, the flames um, and smoke uh, on impact. Um, yeah. If there are any other witnesses apart from the resident who called this in? Uh, witnesses at the moment um, are, are being canvassed. Um, we obviously have the person who notified emergency services um, and we would ask that anyone else that might have in this area who might have seen the plane um, just prior to the collision, whether it was um, incurring any trouble or, or, or what they saw afterwards, um, just to contact police.